In this code.org lesson, we're going to continue to explore loops or repeat blocks that allow us to reuse pieces of our code without having to write it all out again and again. Let's get going. This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Onward. All right, we have two blocks here. We can use up to three. Cover the flower. Let me see what this does. Run, set. Oh, we don't move yet. Okay, so let's say... Hmm, we set the width, but we need to go forward, I think. Move forward 60, let's try. Remember, code runs in order. Oop, there's a bonus one. So I'll drop it right here. We have three out of three. Reset run. Boom. Onward. Ooh, add some beauty by repeating the step five times. Changing to a random color between each move. Now notice we already have two blocks, and we can only use seven. So... Changing to a random color. Oh, here we go. Set color random. Okay. And then this again, and then what? Set color random and move forward again. Let's test this. Oh, okay. So we're just going to do it five times in a row. And it looks like only the move blocks count against us. So five times in a row. Each time I'm setting a random color and then I'm moving forward. And keep in mind, I'm doing this before each block. Because if I just set one random color at the top, it would always be the same. But now, pick the width, pick a color, go forward. Pick a new color, go forward. Pick a new color, go forward. Awesome. Onward. Ooh, video. Next. Draw the colorful line five times again. This time using a repeat loop. We can do that. Okay, so... Think about how we just did it, right? What did we do? Notice we can only use one of these this time, but we said move forward, but we wanted a random color each time. So random color, move forward. Let me throw down the other blocks that we had. Okay, so this is what we had, and this works. It's not right though, right? Because they want us to only use four blocks. But look for patterns here. Boom, boom, boom. And guess what? Boom. So five times in a row, we're doing the exact same stuff. You know what's a better way to do that? Droop. And goodbye, and goodbye, and goodbye, and goodbye. So I'm going to use this block. And when I put set color and move forward inside of it, notice I'm not putting set width inside of it. The reason for that is I don't need to pick the width more than once. I can tell the computer how wide I want it to be, and I'm good to go. I don't need to keep telling it that. So I hit run, the computer understands what the width should be, and then five times in a row, everything inside this pink mouth thing gets repeated five times. So I set a color. And I move forward, hit the bottom of the pink mouth thing, zoop, four more times, zoop, zoop, zoop. And once it's all done, once we've done it five times, we'd be here. If I had a line or a block of code down here, that would run next, but I don't. So, put up. Onward. You can create the star by looping a sequence of move forward and turn right. Okay, so we're only supposed to use three more blocks, but I'm just going to throw down code to test. Because the nice thing is, you can always be wrong with code, right? You can test stuff out. So, is 200 the right width? Yes, so that line's long enough, and I'm just going to keep going. Uh, they say, how much? 144. Yep. And then again, I'm going to go way over on blocks, because I'm testing stuff out. It's really good to do this when figuring out loops. Loops can be complicated, and I know they want us to use one, which it will, but first... Alright, let's see what this does. Yep. And we can watch it run in order, right? Set a random color, move forward, turn right. Set a random color, move forward, turn right. Well, I have two more sides, so what do I need? Oh, I didn't turn, though. You gotta turn up left, right. And hopefully you're yelling at me, because if you're repeating yourself on code, you're working too hard. Boop. Boop. Notice all of these? Boop. And what would I do at the end of this one? Well, I would turn right again. And then... How many times? One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five lines. So don't do this. I don't need to. Instead, I can use my repeat loop, right? And everything inside of here droop, is going to repeat on its own. Now, four isn't enough. We need a five here. The reason I'm leaving width out like I did before is because we're not changing the width, right? It's always 20 for each of these lines, so I can leave that alone. And then once it hits this pink block, everything in this pink mouth is going to run five times. Set the color, move right. I set the color, move forward, turn right. Boop, zoop, back to the top. Set the color, move forward, turn right. Zoop, and then three more times. It's just going to loop through all of that stuff in order five times in a row. 
Awesome. Onward. Ooh, stairs. So stairs are often repeated blocks, right? Because it's the same motion each time. I'm going to do what I have been. I'm going to just test stuff. So I'm going to throw down too much code and see what works. You should do the same. And let's test. Okay, so that's so far so good. And I'm already at my max blocks, but that's fine. I'm testing. So I'm way over on blocks, but let's see how this runs. Cool. All right. So 14 blocks. Let's look for repeated code now. Move forward, right, move forward, left. All right. Move forward, right, move forward, left. Ooh, wait a minute. Boop. Move forward, right, move forward. What? Zoop. And so I can see, again, I'm repeating myself. There's no need with code. Goodbye, goodbye. Instead of writing it three times, this pink mouth thing, everything that goes inside of it, is going to get repeated. I'm leaving width out like I have previously. We don't need to set the width three times. The width doesn't change. So the only stuff that needs to be repeated are these blocks of code. Move forward, right, forward, left, hits the bottom, zoop, two more types through. We got stairs. Onward. Ooh, so this looks like a lot like what we last did, and I think that's where our code's coming from. So this staircase is much bigger, but it takes the same amount of code, right? And this is the power of repeats, right? So right now I'm only going to go down to here because I only have three. But instead of having to add a whole bunch of code, it just looks longer. It looks double. So if I throw a six here in order, everything still runs, but now it's going to go six times. So I'll set the width once. The width doesn't change. That makes sense. Then it hits this pink mouth thing and everything inside of it will run six times. First, we'd move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left, hit the bottom, and it says five more times, zoop, forward, right, forward, left, bottom, zoop, four more times, and yeah, awkward. Oh, perfect. This is like we have been doing. Look for a pattern and make this code shorter using loops. Okay, well, that should be good to go. Move forward, turn right, forward, left, hmm, forward, right, forward, left, hmm. So I'm seeing several move forwards here. Forward, right, forward, left. Mm -hmm. Forward, right, for mm -hmm. So look, four times over. So I need to do this stuff four times. Notice we only set the pattern once because the pattern doesn't change. So the only stuff I'm repeating are these. So the only stuff I would put in my repeat, my pink block here, is the stuff that actually needs to be repeated. So I can still set the pattern once at the top. This just happens once. And then four times in a row, boo forward, turn right. Move forward, turn left, hit the bottom, zoop, three more times, so on and so forth. If we had a line of code beneath it, by the way, or a block, that would run after it runs all of this stuff four times. Awesome. Onward. Oh, we are so ready for this. Oh, perfect. Another one of these. Look for a pattern and make this code shorter using loops. Okay, so this only happens once, but I can see right here, you see this blue block set color random. Wait a minute. These look similar, so what if I, oh, nope. What if I grab this guy, set color random, okay. Set color, forward, right, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Set color, forward, 80, right, 45. Set color, forward, 80, right, 45. Set color, forward, 80, right, 40. My goodness, we got a whole bunch of them. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's no need to write something eight times. We have repeats. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. And bye. Now we can use this guy. Now, we only set the width once, so we don't need that in our repeat. So we can drop everything in this pink mouth thing like we've been talking about will happen now four times, except I needed it to happen eight times. So in order, set the width. Eight times in a row, we're going to first pick a color, then I'll move forward, then I'll turn right, hit the bottom seven more times, and... Ta-da! Onward. Solve this puzzle by drawing a square with 200 pixel size. Okay, I'll move forward. And then what? Turn right, it looks like. Forward, turn right. I hope you're yelling at me, because forward, turn right. There's four sides. Forward, turn right. And if I hit this, I'm way over on blocks. But look, I drew it. What's, what's wrong? Try again. Well, I'm way over on blocks. Let's look for a pattern. Pata. Four times in a row. Squares are the same side each time. All we need is a repeat block. Boom. Boom. So much less code. Does the same thing. Onward.